So we're looking for a swing set uh, with a slide built in, and we're thinking putting it back in the, the back third of the, the grass here. But the problem is we've got a slope and a pitch to the yard, and we don't know how to take care of that. Yeah, it definitely does have a pitch and a slope. I think having it back here where you want it, parallel to the fence, because the slope is pretty gradual there. We do have some steepness here, but right. if you guys both want to help out, do we have anybody that can take care of Charlie? Yep. All right, why don't I get some tools and we can get started. Sounds, Sounds good. good. All right, Jim, here's what I want to use to build your swing set. And it starts with this kit right here that I got at the home center for a little under $100. And in the kit, we have a couple of swings, a set of rings, and all the hardware and brackets that you need to mount it to the wood. Now, you can always add a slide or a climbing wall later, or maybe even another swing on the other side, but it gives you that option. Now, the wood frame obviously doesn't come with the kit. We're going to use uh, Western Red Cedar, which is really a nice wood for outdoors. It weathers nice, and it holds up to the weather, and it'll get a nice weathered gray over time. Oh, yeah, it smells and looks great. Yeah. We're going to start by marking the locations for all the holes that we have to drill across the top beam that's going to carry our swings and to our A-frame. We'll need to make sure that the marks are in the center of the beam and then we can drill the holes. It's important that the drill stays square in both directions, so we'll use a speed square to guide it. Okay, now I want you to pull it up. That empties out the twist. Keep going. Pull it right up. Empty it out. All right, now go back in again. So that just cleaned out the drill. Okay. Perfect. Nice job. I flipped the beam over and now we can install the T-nuts that will hold the hardware that holds the swing. I'll just slide them in and then you can drive them home with a hammer. All right. There you go. Okay, so now we're just going to tip it on its side like that. And we're going to take these brackets that are going to hold our swings and we're going to thread those up through the hole. So the first thing I need to do is take this square washer, put it on there like that and push it into the hole and screw it into the T-nut. All right, so we have them on. That's good. Okay, so now we're going to just tip it up and we're going to take a screwdriver and put it in there, right in here, and we're going to use the screwdriver as leverage and we'll bring it around and turn it. And what's going to happen, we have to make sure we keep this slot now in that eye. That's going to come around like this. Once we get down in there, it's going to dig into the wood, just like that. A little more, right there, oh, all right, so that's good, yeah. All right, so our slot is holding it, and that's great. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these screws, so our bracket will stay in place, and we're gonna screw through each hole and put four screws. All right. Okay, up on top on this one. Our structure is made of three A-frames. Perfect. The legs of each are four by fours with a two by six across. After I build one, we use that as a template to build the other. Perfect. Yeah, I'd like to try. All right, right there. Nice and slow on your start. The two by six braces are secured to the four by fours using four inch screws. This bracket that comes with the kit holds the legs together at the top and attaches it to the crossbeam. Good, another one here, let's load them up. On one end of the swing set, we need to build a platform for the top of the slide. I want to leave a little gap between the boards to allow the rainwater to run out and also for the boards to swell. That's gonna look great. Yeah. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> now you walk down that side. Our platform will be supported by two of the A-frames using more of the four-inch screw. We'll pivot it right around, just like that. Perfect. We'll put it up here like this. Nice. All right, let's carry this last A over here through. Now this A is gonna go 
this way, mm -hmm. like that. All right, good. And I'm gonna slide this carriage bolt through here and through this first hole. I'm gonna get it in there first. Slide it through, now I can get a nut and a washer started on this one. Okay, now we'll get the other one in. Okay, get another nut and washer on that one. And I'll tighten that up. Okay, Valerie, you want to go around the other side mm -hmm. and pick that four by six up. Pull it in. Hold it, hold it, not too fast. Okay, now let's get the other two on. Good. All right, I think we're ready to tilt it up. Okay. So you grab that A-frame there, put your foot right on the bottom. You're going to have to pull hard on that A, and you and I will push this up on three. Ready? One, two, three. There we go. Okay, how about that right there? All right, All right let's take a look, see how it looks. Now it is following the slope of the land. You can see it coming down this way and pitching forward just a little bit this way. Now I can level it and level it we can do it a couple of different ways. We can cut the back legs off as needed or you can dig holes and put it in the ground that way. If I cut the legs and we put it there, that means you're limited on where you can put this on the land. You can never move it. Yeah. I don't know about you, Valerie, but I think it looks really great. Where yeah, it is. I think it's positioned well and it seems like it'll still be sturdy and safe right there. And if you want to level it later, you can always dig a couple of holes in the back and just push it down a little bit. We can do that. That works. All right, good. Let's finish it up. Let's add some two by fours for railings at the top of the platform. All right, that's all yours, lady. Now here's the slide that I picked. I picked the bumpy one. So I don't know if Charlie would like that, but they have a couple of different ones to choose from, but I think he'd like that. He loves to bounce. The top of the slide just screws in place to the platform, but I'm adding some stakes in the ground to keep the bottom of the slide from slipping. All right, that's it for the slide. Now to get to the slide, I think we have a couple of different options. We can take some two bys like this and place like one here, maybe another here, and another one down here to make a ladder to climb up. Oh, we can take a bunch of them and put them close together all the way down and we can get some hand and footholds to make it like a rock wall climbing up. Well, that sounds pretty great. Yeah, we are in Colorado. All sounds right, about let's right. do that. Hey, what do you think? You like that swing set? Pretty cool, huh, Charlie? <laughs> oh boy, look at that. Here you go. Ready, set. Whoa! <laughs> All right, high five! Yay! Yeah, high five. Charlie, can you say thank you, Tommy? Yeah, Tommy. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you so much for coming to Colorado and helping us. We really appreciate it. It was my pleasure, and it's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.